Now that we're all here in the van, why don't we slap a number on this? Shall I? Please, slap, slap away. This is episode number 237. Excellent. 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 Are you That's, sure? Yeah. No, he's, d- d- don't fuck with him now, Turbo. We're leaving glorious Montana, uh, mountainous Montana, if you will. Mm-hmm. That's about the extent of our niceties. niceties. Turbo. It's not a word. It's, it's a, a word. It's Look a it word. up. Nice cities or the sale of two titties if you uh, watch any Monty Python. Anyway, no, it's, no, it's lovely. Um, lovely. Can you turn the camera around just a little bit? Just let them see what we're... Look at that. Look at that, kids. This is called Montana. 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 That's the locals say. That's the local. Yeah, listen, that, that's top secret. I know there's only five people that listen to this. But um, we found out, we spoke to a local... She's been here for 97 years, and uh, she's 93 years old, but a little loopy. She says that the locals, and only the locals, call it Montana. So, if you ever want to fit in, in Montana, and you, you want to be that, you know, you know, you want to get discounts on drinks, you want to meet the ladies, Montana. Say it with me, everybody. One, two, three, Montana. See? See? You can tell that we've only just gotten the van and just got our shipment of heroin. To the mobile, off we go. Anyway, we have had a joy of a time. Am I, am I lying? Anybody? No. No. I'm lying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> e- e- even Heidi said, "Hey, motherfucker, thanks for booking it, didn't you?" Yeah, I she- did. Just like that. Thank you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. Funny wow. that I say it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that was my favorite I don't part. Know why it's so before we before we do anything Montana ish, let's uh let's just take this moment to thank Jill and Jay and Kate and Kyle and uh, Frank yep. in uh, Utah, Nebraska, just outside of Omaha. Mm-hmm. And uh man, we are in, indebted forever. This trip wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have been it would have happened. Well we'd have been fucking miserable. So cheers. Thank you. Thank you, the Holland family. The whole Holland family. We're traveling east right now, but that won't last for long. We're, we're heading We're heading to Denver, where we're going to leave Heidi at the airport. Yeah. And uh, well, Hopefully she has a flight. Like a hobo. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a nice place this time of year. <laughs> Recapping Montana is, you know, we got here on Friday. We had a little, we had a little bit of time. We had, we had the one Moxie come in, the beautiful Stacy yes. Newton. She came in and she uh, she also made it smooth as glass this whole trip. Just so lucky to have her along. And then moving into the festival, Cheryl for booking us again. Thank you, Cheryl. And uh, Tim for running sound. Uh, made some great friends. House of Hamel, Nova. That's right. Wonderful band. Yeah. Um, and uh, the Swagger out of Utah. Nice to meet them. We've heard of them, about them for years. And... Um, I, I I didn't get to see uh, what, what was it Teton? What was the Teton Sky? Teton Sky. Oh, we saw them last year. Phenomenal. Didn't get to see them this year. And then Aoife Scott from Dublin and uh, Andy on guitar. Jesus yeah. Lord! If you get a chance, please look them up. Look all of them up. House of Hamel, Swagger, and Aoife Scott. A O I F E. Aoife. If you if you get a chance, woo! He goes again. If uh, you get a chance, listen to her. The, 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 her originals are as good as, or they're, they're better than any of the covers. The covers are f- already phenomenal. So we're just blown away. The, the, this was, I would say this is Harmony Weekend. I was just yeah. killed by the Harmony. Lord, yeah. And uh, on that note, too, we got to hear Heidi sing yeah. Harmony. I mean, wow. I didn't know she could sing. Nice job. Really nice job. Uh, Turbo will be singing harmony soon. His microphone just got lost <laughs> in his... Uh, it's at the lost in Yeah. It's, it's, well, it's actually not. It's, it's in the other yeah, boots. It's I forgot really about that. Ah! Ah! Oh, man. That story coming up. Oh. But the uh, his microphone is in his old kit, not in the brand new SJC kit. Thank you, SJC. Kit sounded amazing. Yeah. There's yeah, there going to be a lot of pictures coming up on the on the site, so check them out. Yeah, oh, just just a, just a magnificent, magnificent weekend. Weather could not have been better. Sitting outside, uh, I'm not going to say which motherfucker, but some of the motherfuckers were, were too cold. We're going back to 110 degrees in Houston, uh, Texas no. right now. Yeah. No. And some of these motherfuckers are saying, it's too cold. I was like, bite your lip. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, Chitty wants some carnage. Well, yeah. Well. <laughs> so uh, you shall not be cold. Yes. Check those mountains out. Look at that, kids. So kids, look at that. Wow. Want to see my black tar heroin? Look at that. <laughs> All right. When I when I'm talking about drugs, that's what I'm talking about. Look up some good shit. Um, yeah, just food is great. The company was great. I thought the uh, oh Tim running sound great. Damn. Uh, got to meet his family. Yeah, he brought his yeah, whole family. Really cool. Let me tell you a little story. I talk some shit once in a while about Oklahoma, and I talk about. Well, I won't say it all here. You have to come to a show. But I just talk about some, basically putting them down a little bit. Oklahoma being North Dallas, you know what I mean. But I was talking a lot of shit about this one woman in particular in one of our songs, second worst girlfriend, and I was talking about how. You know how beautiful she was because she's four foot one with one tooth, you know, three strands of hair and, uh, you know, and, and, and goofy eyes. And anyway, I was saying that she's beauty queen, all that stuff, just on and on and on. I talked about the big wart on her face, you know, made Lemmy look like a Barbie doll, blah, blah, blah. So Tim, you know, unbeknownst to me, Tim has been married for 30 something years to this beautiful woman named Liz. Well, he made her drive up from Oklahoma as she arrived today with their daughter, Rhea, and uh, Rhea's boyfriend, Spencer. And they showed up. I can't believe I remember all these fucking names. But they showed up, not just beautiful, but she was stunning. And I'm looking at her going, that's why you did it, you motherfucker. I was like, why did that? Yeah, Heidi said that. But she, uh, she, I was like, you're not from Oklahoma. She's like, ah, yes, I am. I was like, oh, fuck. Anyway, so we had to take it back a little bit. But now that, now that he's not here, <laughs> Fuck up, though. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and he showed up in he showed up in uniform. Yeah, the first night, yeah. He was wearing his Blackers t-shirt. Yes, he was. Again, last year. So I gave, I gave him the pirate uh, t-shirt, which is on sale online, blackers.com. Go there and do yourself a favor. Mm -hmm. We, uh, I gave him that today, and he was, uh, he literally jumped. He was so happy. So <laughs> we're, we're, we're just, we, 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 we're, we're spoiled rotten, and uh, sometimes I think we deserve it. I really do. I, I just I, I think that I think everybody played their asses off. I think we uh, worked our asses off. There's no question. Yeah. Like I said, Stacy came up and and just helped tremendously. Merch Maiden was missed, but uh, Stacy took the reins and she just made that thing. She just cracked the whip. She fantastic. So I uh, I see what you I see what you did there, Turbo. We're all proud of you. Married up. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Yes, it is. If any of you get a chance, please come and visit beautiful Hamilton, Montana. It's out of this world. I kid you not. This is this is an overcast day. Yesterday the sun was splitting the stones and there was music in the air and birds in the trees. It was just, it was, it was, it was seriously like, like, like a Disney cartoon, right? And, I, and I, I have pictures too. There was deer running through the, 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 the garden this morning, the house we stayed in. and. They got us this beautiful Airbnb. Thank you, Cheryl. Yeah. Um, it was it was a ranch. It was, it was on a it was on a farm nearly. It was just so beautiful, so open and spacious, and the air was gorgeous. All the windows were open, and slept like a baby. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So if you get a chance, Hamilton, put it on your. T and uh, if we get b asked back next year, the answer is yes. But also, I would strongly, which we did last year too. I would suggest booking a ticket. Come on, Missoula's only you know forty five minutes to an hour away. You fly in there. Uh, where where where'd they fly into? Missoula. Missoula. Yeah. 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 Fucking it's a quick airport. Yeah. Yeah. It's small. It's about the size of a wart. <laughs> size of what? A wart. A wart. Yeah. It's small. Yeah. What about uh, the food? What would you guys eat? You guys eat any yeah. fun? I had frozen yogurt. It was very good. Excellent. Is that gluten free? And dairy free. And yeah. dairy free. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what flavor did you get? I had orange, uh, orange vanilla. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so no fun. What? I'm just kidding. It's like a, you know, those cream school things when you had. Yeah. You know, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was going for. Yeah. It's lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, it looked good. I was, I was jealous when I saw you eating it. I was like, oh. Did you not eat anything fun, Turbo? I did. I had. Barbecue mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was like pork barbecue mac and cheese. Whoa. Yeah. 
Voodoo. Yeah, he's like a 10 year old child. So. <laughs> That's it. Chad, what'd you have? I ate a shitload of free cookies. Shit. <laughs> shitload. <laughs> is that measurable? Shitload? It is. Measurable. <laughs> okay. Huh? Yeah, you were excited about those cookies. I saw you grab the last one. The, yeah, the pumpkin chocolate The pumpkin chip. one. Oh my God. Your eyes were big. I think I ate half of that container. <laughs> I know for a fact. <laughs> no, I, but you know, and I, I noticed something on this trip. Chad Richard Smalley, or Chad the Inhaler, is, he's a grazer. He just go, I mean, he just, shoot. Shit's really shit, hard for me to stop, yeah. That's why I can't keep massive quantities of food at home. Uh, but I, it's I, the only I, way I've been able to lose weight. You know, I'm gaining it back because I'm not. Yeah. I know. I, I was watching. I, I, I was going to say something. I was like, nah, he's in heaven. Well, I'm keeping he track of big smile on his yeah. face. He's just, I am vlogging everything. Yeah. So, but it's, it's cookie, cookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cookie. I got to yeah, yeah. get a handle on yeah. <laughs> All right, kids, we're going to let you in this little secret. So, in, in, the, in the bag of tricks coming home, some damn near ruined bananas, all right? <laughs> this, this is Heidi all the way. All right, this is Heidi all the way. This is not Plus, a lie. This is, no, this is not a lie. This Even she's not, not all right, you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, that's the personal bag. <laughs> this is the personal size bag. It says sharing on the back, but she says, fuck sharing, motherfucker. All right, <laughs> now this is, a, this is a me thing. This is, this is, this is the way to go. If you ever want to get the, the taste of Oklahoma out of your mouth, four <laughs> bags of these four. and a gallon of petrol, all right? <laughs> now, Four bags, right? And there's another thing too that you always take. Always take. When you're north of I-10, you need anything to take the taste of what they call Mexican food. So do yourself a favor, get the hot, not not the mild, not the medium, get the hot. Alright? And then <laughs> last but not least, oh, I've got some raw jalapenos in there too. In case you uh, come across a woman of the night in Oklahoma. Alright. Fresh baked muffins. <laughs> All right, you, who's driving? Oh, I'm driving. Okay. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so that's the that's the uh, that's the one of the bags of snacks. <laughs> one, yeah. There's, there's, there's more in the bag. Yeah, there's, there's a lot more in the bag. So we stayed at this beautiful Airbnb in, just outside of Hamilton, and uh, we went grocery shopping. Everybody got the show. It was very interesting to see who got what, and I'm not going to say who got peanut butter and tortillas. And then, uh, yeah, I was like, what? That's, what? Right. That's, That's one of my main staples now. Is it? Yeah. I was like, somebody's pregnant. <laughs> 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 the only reason. Then there was a lot of beer. There was a, the, only the highest quality of beer in the fridge. It was called Coors Banquet. Banquet. Ba Banquet. Yeah. Yeah. Coors Banquet. Banquet. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, so that was, I was a little straight. But both Turbo and I bought, bought it without knowing the other person. We bought oh. the exact same thing. Oh, a six pack of course, but <laughs> that's what they tell each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, "Hey, man, I got, you. I yeah. got beers for us." I'm like, "I got beers for us too." Or we said it reverse. Yes, yeah. they, they said that before they went into the shop, and then they came out. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. anyway, <laughs> Turbo, would you like to tell the story of the beautiful Kathleen serenading you in the middle of Super One Foods in <laughs> Hamilton, Montana? Yeah. Here we so this go. Is Saturday night. No word of a lie. I saw the whole thing. Oh, yeah. By the way, notice it's raining now and not during our set. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Again, okay, the, so another blackguard tradition. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. The, yeah, sorry, sure. the blackguard tradition. Yeah. <laughs> we're at the super, whatever the grocery store we were at. Super One. Super, super One Foods. I just said it. Do you want me to the tape? Yes. <laughs> I don't know how you remember all these names. Like, no, this this lady stopped me. Me and Stacy were walking. She stopped me and she recognized me from the show. And she's like, "I'm gonna, I want to sing you a song." I'm like. Go for it, and she just sung me like the state of Montana. Is it their theme song, or I think she just made, made it up. up? Yeah, theme song. Because I've never heard, like, I've never heard cocksucker like you got to go rhymed to with North Dakota. Dakota. You know, it's like one of their. You've heard the North Dakota one? I never heard. Yeah. That. I thought you just yeah. made that up too. No, Oklahoma. my next door neighbor in Arizona used to sing that. I think they were from there. Or, you screw Dakota in North Dakota. Okay, <laughs> so, I know that one. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's North Dakota or South Dakota. I don't remember. But it was one of the fucking Dakotas. cares. It's North Dakota. Nobody even goes there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, that's what I meant. she sung the their dynamic duo because also too at the show we were loading all the gear out and the guy was sh sh shuttling it with the golf cart and we put the symbols on the very DJ. top. DJ, thank you, DJ. He was the man. Yeah, 
we had the symbols on the top and they went back and forth the up and back and just forgot they were there and then her husband came up and was like hey man don't forget the symbols on the top i was like <laughs> oh Thank save you. the day yeah. they wouldn't have made it thank you kathleen's yeah. husband yes yeah, so anyway so kathleen. song and symbols that was them yeah she she just she she had the bitter celtic festival t-shirt on and she saw turbo in the shop and I mean, she just, she's like, can I sing your song? And like, Trevor, Trevor's like, yeah. And he's like, unbuttoning his shirt. And she's like, stop, stop. But no, and Kathleen, she was phenomenal. And they stayed for the whole set today. Yeah. yeah. Now we were, nice. we were, we were just throwing down today. Uh, Tim was just not having, we could hear backpipes in the distance. And Tim said, fuck that. We're going to, yeah. we're, we're going to drown them out. We did. Yeah. We did. Everybody was sitting on the outside of the tent. It was pretty fun. Yeah. It's really good, good, good humored, good natured people. I love that festival. Yeah. yeah. It's a great festival. We found the shoes. Yes. <laughs> oh. Turbo was tasked with hanging on to the fiddle and the uh, boots. The, the, the black bag with black boots in it. Because everything we own is black. Our souls are black and our thoughts are black. And, uh, and uh, uh, so anyway, we, we arrive at the festival on Friday and we put the gear in and in the dark left one of the black bags with her boots in there. I don't know if you've ever seen pictures of her boots, but they're, uh, they're kind of fine. I mean, for, you know, woo. Anyway, and uh, so, and there was other stuff in there too. We can't say what's in there because we don't want to embarrass Heidi. It's the hairdryer with the attachment. Yes. Anyway, um, and she, uh, God. she, so anyway, we, we lost, we lost the bag. It was gone. It was gone. Gone we tore the van apart. We, we tore the van apart. We so I went back to the festival. We went, yeah. Looked everywhere. Couldn't find yeah. it. I'm like, well, it was like, want, we're buying boots. It was this kind of funny relay. They had Patrick went out, tore the van apart. He come back in, just can't find it. Then I go out, tore the van apart. <laughs> we kept doing that, yeah. taking turns going back. And out. It wasn't, it wasn't a big bag. It was, a, you know, no. it was, it was there. they were unscrewing the the fuse cap inside the thing. They're like, maybe it's in this little box. You know, the <laughs> the bag was this big. <laughs> yeah. So very nice that we got it back. Yeah. So yeah. so the next day we found it was sitting right in right where we left it, right where you left it. Yeah. It was, but it was, uh, it was, it was I mean everything. And the other thing that happened yesterday was I left a cable and it's a it's a guitar cable and it's one of the more expensive ones. You can buy shit which I don't recommend, but if you buy good stuff like SJC drums or Glasser, you know, fiddle or you know whatever. If you get the good stuff, it will last forever and it will sound good, right? So and that cable was a you know, it was a hundred dollar cable. So and I left it there yesterday. It was in the same spot where I left when I came back today. Just everybody there, the bands were respectful. Yeah. You know, yeah. we left we left gear overnight, but nothing was touched. We left merchandise overnight, nothing was touched. And the spectacular. It was just Yeah, kudos. That's that. the way it should be. I remember we did a we did a festival in a shithole called Dallas one time. And uh, I just got this uh, Hercules guitar stand. It would hold three guitars on it. And uh, back in, back in the day, they're, they're, they're a little bit, they're not as expensive now. But back, back in the day, they were kind of new. I'm, I don't know which band did it, but one of the bands they just put, it. yeah, they just put it with their shit. And they took it, and it was just, it, it's one of those things. Musicians already have a hard enough time touring, paying for four dollar petrol, and you know, miles and miles and miles ago, you know, all the stuff. And, the last thing you want to do is worry about somebody else in your industry ripping you off. You know, we can, you know, we can get screwed all by ourselves. Thank you very much. Thank you, Captain. Hey, no, 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 no. Yes, crazy, crazy talk, crazy. So, do we want to kill? Anybody want to kill? I do. All right, go for it. I am killing the Dumb Elevator song by Aerosmith. Nice. Aerosmith's <laughs> yeah, having a rough season on Saturday. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, no arguments for anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, do you hate the song for its? I mean, just to, to just as, as corny a subject yeah. as, or or do you hate it because the, the actual, you know, the the, the instrument, it, you know, the the melody, all that stuff? Is is it? Is Both. There anything, both? Both. Both are equally terrible. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking about this today. Some of the songs that we that we kill, I know, belong to people's hearts in different ways. Yeah, yeah. Music means so much to people in so many different ways, and 
again, I just put the caveat on, on this whole thing by saying we're not making fun, except Aerosmith and Kiss. <laughs> Besides them, we're not making fun of the band or their work or the. It's just songs that get on our tits and we can't fucking, you know, you know what I mean? So we're not decimating memories or anything or just, you know, shit. We're just saying that these are songs that in our. You know, if they came out in the van, there'd be a fist fight. That's that's all there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, and then shine a light. Shine a light. Um, I am going to shine a light. It doesn't need shining. Uh, Metallica, Nothing Else Matters is just one of my all-time favorites. Really? I, I do. I love that song. Wow. I have nothing in common with you, with you there. <laughs> Anybody else like it? Do you hate that song? I, I really hate that song. You but, do? Oh, 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 yeah. Only because... Only because I've heard it so many times. Well, I, that's I, true. Myself and a friend of mine back in the day actually toured around the southern states. We saw them in Houston. We saw them in Mississippi. We saw them in Florida. We saw them in one other place. And so, all in all, I just I'm tired of them. And it was the Black Album tour. Yeah. So, you know, one thing I will say about that band: when Jason Houston was in it, <laughs> great bass player. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Well, here, here's why I like yeah. it. Wait, you know, if you have a really killer voice, that song is really something else. I don't think it's that easy to sing. I no, it's, it, it, yeah. So. I've heard more people ruin it yeah. than nail it. Oh. I've even mean, heard Metallica ruin it. <laughs> yeah. You know, because it's... <laughs> there, there's a gal that was in Vegas now. She's in Phoenix. I've worked with her a few times, and we recorded that song together. And her voice just it, it made it one of my favorite songs. Can, we, can we put a link to it? Yeah, I have, I have it. Yeah. yeah. Let's hear it. I might yeah, like that one. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Okay, you're That's cool. Mm. <laughs> Trevor, you up or you want to wait? Yeah. What, yeah. Uh, what song do you think was played the most this weekend? Uh, I heard Girl. Galway Girl was yeah. what I was thinking. Whatever Wait, was played the most. Nah, I, I, don't, I was hoping it was something else because I don't want to kill that one. Because, you know, sometimes we get into the festivals and everybody kind of has similarities and songs. And, yeah. You know, you're not really listening to songs because we're working the whole day, so typically that's one of the songs in my mind that I'll grab, but uh, I like that song. I'm not going to kill that song. Thank All right. you. <laughs> yeah, I changed my mind. Yeah. Oh, well, I heard, I heard, uh, I know we've killed it, Kelly, relax, <laughs> but I heard Sweet Child of Mine today. Damn it. Hate did? it. Hate it. That's how it's going to kill. to die again. We did? I didn't hear it. Yeah, oh, it's been killed. I know. But, but the other one, the other one that's been killed, that still needs to be killed again, is uh, is uh, Crazy Train by Ozzy. Fuck that song. And uh, I usually hear that on bagpipes or fiddle. And fuck it all. I mean, end the world. No, no, no. <laughs> so, there's two. You just remind me of the song way off subject, but go. Oh. You said when you said Crazy Train. Have you heard of the band? you remember the band? They were kind of a one-hit wonder, Crazy Town. They had that song, Butterflies. How'd it go? Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. Oh, my butterfly. Fuck that song. Dude, I, yes, I'm killing that song. I saw a clip of that dude now singing that song. I was like, oh my God. It was like the gal singing the freaking national anthem. Like, that's, it was that bad. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. The, when Fergie did Fergie, the national yeah, anthem, Fergie. I was like, dude, I feel bad for you that this was recorded. This is so bad. So, I'm just killing that song. He used to throw that into the songs back in the day. Like, nah, I was joking, wondering if you remember start that. laughing. Do you remember what song? No. I do. Was it Rover? No. I thought it was 500 Miles. Was it 500 Miles? Might have been, yeah. You used to do Crazy Town? Just that. That song? Yeah, I've used that hashtag, couple lady, couple lady. Oh, no, that's what weird. Was Jen? I don't know, but, but uh, 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 that, that that song that Christoph Waltz uh, mimed as well on the on the Jimmy Kimmel yeah. show that yeah, 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 yeah. that was that was definitely five hundred miles. Yeah, yeah. God damn it! That, that, I think I had to change my depends that day. Yeah. Oh my god. Anyway, that's a horrible song. Yeah. No, I just I forgot. I saw that video and I was like, oh, I need to remember that one. But when you you just sparked my memory. So that one I'll kill it. All right, shine, shine a light. Oh. Um, you know I'm a big fan of Raggle Taggle. I like that song, and the Swaggers did that song, so. The Swagger? The Swaggers, sorry. The Swaggers. Forgot the name. Yeah, sorry. the Swaggers. Yeah. They, uh. Out of Utah. Out of, out of the Utah. 
<laughs> Utah. 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 Four A's, four H's. Uh huh. Utah. I'm gonna shine a light on their version of the song. I enjoyed that. So that was good. All right, Chad, you're up. You wanna hold the camera? Well, since he's not, you, you killed the, the song I was gonna kill. So what? I'm gonna kill the song that that Turbo doesn't want to kill. <laughs> so, because why not? Kill it. Call your own. Kill it. I, 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 only because we, we hear it <laughs> every festival you play yeah, every single band good. covers it and it's getting getting out of hand I think uh, yeah. I think we, we we did you know we did our part we didn't play it so Shine Light then okay I was listening to Deuce of Stratosphere when I was doing my driving shift late at night on the way up here and it helped me definitely helped me stay away Deuce of Stratosphere is the psychedelic and alter ego of XTC um, and if you've never heard it, I'm kind of surprised that some of the XTC, XTC, XTC fans I know don't aren't familiar with that. Those two records that they did, those two stratosphere, it's absolutely fucking brilliant. It's just, it's not even the fact that it's you know it's they're doing a psychedelic uh, pastiche of, of, the, of the psychedelic era of the '60s. But there's a song on there on the second Duke's record called "Little Lighthouse," which doesn't even sound like it's from the '60s at all. It just sounds like a really good XTC song. And it's really, really great. A uh, really strange riff that turns around like the beat. They, they skip those weird things where they skip uh, a measure when they're going to the chorus or something like that. At least that's what it feels like. Anyway, really cool, and I highly recommend you check that out. Did you so that's, that this, is, this, this, this has been this week's episode <laughs> of Chad talking about something that nobody in the band knows. That's what I was like, I, hear, I don't know anything about any of that. Yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. See? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to shine a light first. Shine a light on a song that doesn't need it, but it hasn't been around for a little while, but I've been humming a lot of carpenters inside the old noodle. And uh, the song that I, I, saw, I read this, you know, they do those, it's all clickbait shit, click, click masturbate shit. Um, the, you know, they're always like, well, what's, what's the worst song of the best friend? Blah, 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 on and on. But somebody said uh, on, on one of these uh, message or not messy, but one of these groups that I'm in, and I'd say, you know, what was the song that got you into metal? And I started thinking, there's two songs that I remember when I heard, I wanted to, I, I wanted to find heavier stuff. And it's the, it's the chord change in uh, the Beatles song, Please Please Me, that, that, that there's a really cool guitar chord turnaround on that. And that, was kind of heavy for its time in my head, and I always wanted to. Is it the da, 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 da. yeah, the, yeah, the, the only chord change, yeah. the only only turnaround thing. So, um, and then, but then the the Carpenters, like I say, have been in my head nonstop. I always always love the Carpenters, still love the Carpenters. If any chance I get, if I can hear Karen Carpenter sing, I'll take it. Easily, easily, easily one of the best uh, female singers. Uh, you know her, her and Abba. You know the the combined voices of Abba. Also, they're uh, just the two of us. You know that the Carpenter song. That was another one. It's just it, it's just kind of like a snap on the guitar when they when they uh, when they go into the chorus. That kind of made me hunger for that kind of punchy guitar sound. I just love that. I love the way it was produced. And I remember even as a kid knowing that. That was a sound that I really liked, and I wanted to dig it deeper in that. So the song I'm shining a light on, the songs that I'm shining a light on are, I thought I think some of the earliest songs that made me think of melody and harmony and all that stuff. So it's just the two of them. I think it's called just the two of them by uh, by the Carpenters, and I still love "Please Please Me" by the Beatles as as one as a kind of a rockin' number. And um, so there's, that's my shine light. The Kill. The kill, the kill, the kill. This is gonna be awesome. No, I don't think so. No, I, 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 you know, I, I think this is one of my lesser thing, but it's just the um, uh, we heard a terrible cover of it, and now I hate it even more. Ooh. But uh, we were we were in a place called Lincoln, Nebraska, at a wonderful little club called Duffy's Tavern. Great rock and roll room. Carl, hot Carl, yeah. At uh, running sound, hot Carl, running sound, hot Carl of the city. Second band up there, and it was love, love will tear us apart again. That and that that song that pisses me band. off. Huh? Third band. That was the third band? Larks. Yeah. Oh, it was the Larks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
and the song just doesn't go anywhere. And uh, so, fuck that song. I don't even know who sings it. But that's all you get. It's dead. Fuck it. It's dead. So, it's dead. Yeah. So that's our song. Now let me ask you, real quick. Sorry. Did Toby sorry? How about it? Just being interrupted by scenery. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, so, so. You see the you see the river? There it is. A river runs through it. Name that movie. Yes. Um, say what you see. All right. We're going to start with uh, Chad. You, any, you're king of the world. Change it. What is it? Uh, okay. Music history. Everybody has to take music history. Good one. Turbo. Mm. King of the world. Uh, free. What is it? What is it this week? Hippie. <laughs> Hippie? Yeah, you're always, some... giving, you're always giving shit away. Yeah, why not? I know. Um, come back to me. Heidi. Heidi. Ah, okay. Um. <laughs> Everybody has to end every sentence with motherfucker. <laughs> That's Heidi. Um, Ooh, um, I, um, I had one, I had one. Left. Oh, okay, so it's kind of two part. I think one, high school classes should be a lot less homework and more focused on what you actually have to face in life. Like a little more direction, you know. History's great. That all those things. I'm not knocking any subject. I just think excessive homework on every subject is not encouraging kids to learn. Second, when they need to graduate and go to college, it shouldn't be so damn unaffordable. <laughs> yeah. How how are we expecting the world to get better if college is not affordable? <laughs> that's a great. That's a great point. Trevor, you're up. I could I could piggyback off of that one. I, I, Go for it. I think your first two years of college should be free, just like high school. Should go, just should like high school. To, should go to 14th grade. Feel the burn. No, I think uh, everybody should do a violin class when you're young. Because, man, you, just watching you play, I'm like, oh. I I would just love to hold this thing and play it. Like, I just to make up for losing my boots. No, I found it. I didn't find it. Pass on. I did. Oh, my God. I didn't sleep. <laughs> Stacy at night goes, hey, look. This is she, I swear to God, exactly where she goes. Heidi's cool. It'll be fine. If you can't find them, we'll just get new ones. I'm like, <laughs> I can't sleep. I'm like, where are they? <laughs> like, those freaking boots. <laughs> so, well, thank you for saying that. I yeah, agree. no, it's just I agree. the world would be a better place. <laughs> it's an instrument that I admire. So. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have to say, there was a little girl on my like in the front row on my side of the stage at our set today. That was just watching, watching, watching. And when I came down the stairs when we were done, she came up and gave me a big hug. She goes, I just love your guys' music. And so I chatted with her. Her name's McKenna. And I said, can I run and get my phone and take a picture with you? So she waited. I put my fiddle back, got, got a picture with her, chatted more, and she ran off. And then she came back. Right after you told me about her. Yeah. yeah. I just told Chad about this little girl. And I was talking to Dan Ogilvy, And she came up again. And she had this, and she just put it on my wrist. She goes, I just love you guys so much. And she gave me a bigger hug, and then she ran off. Oh, and then she came time. back. That's what I was saying. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> she yeah. wanted a picture on, maybe it was her phone or her mom's phone, and Chad took our picture. And yeah. I just, I mean, that means the world to me when, yeah, when the little ones are like. It's so cool. Inspired by music. Yeah, she's but she didn't that. say me particularly, she said the band's music. Every time she came up, so I just want McKenna to know. Well, she's not allowed to watch Slapper Cast because no. you told me. No, yeah. But if her mom's watching, I'm going to wear this every day. Yeah. I love that's, it. That's very sweet. Yeah. That's pretty cool. We're still traveling. I don't know why they're sending us this way, but it's quicker, so I'll uh, I'll go with it for now. Ta-da. This is um, uh, God. This is a. Uh, it's like inner city. It's, it's, it, it's so weird to see rain. We're. Uh, Can we take some home? I know. Yeah. I, I just. I was just thinking. Yeah, about seriously. That. We have like a, a big, big sail on the top of the van that we can just push it, and drag it with us. Yeah, this is this has been a this has been a really really fun road trip, and we mentioned earlier. You know, we mentioned that last episode too about the the fir- the first leg of it. You know, doing Hibernia and all the shit. But it really is music is so special that's why I keep going back to that that just a disclaimer on the shining a light and killing songs is that you know the, the because I know how much it means to people and I know how attached people get to these songs 
and some of these bands that do just the drinking, you know, some of these uh, bands at our festivals that we go to, and you hear them, that they're they're just doing drinking song and drinking song and drinking song, and then same version of the songs that have been done. For, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. But that's me, and, and I'm the worst because I'm so opinionated. I'm so uh, just just burned out on some of these songs. So I don't want to ever hear Black Velvet Band or Wild mm-hmm. Rover mm-hmm. or Whiskey in the Jar mm-hmm. or any of those songs. I don't want to hear them. I only want to hear them if you've got your own, and, and it has to be a new, a whole new feel. Yeah. Don't do it like a like a pub song. Everybody knows that. Well, don't play somebody else's arrangement. Yeah. 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 And and again, we pay with we. That hurts us a lot too because we get. We get the older people that are used to, it and they want to hear that again, again, again. We're, we're, we're not doing it. You know, we have done it before. We've done it on. Uh, we've done it on. You know, by request for people that you know, it makes them feel good and it makes it you know, fine. I'm not going to do it when we've got a very limited amount of time. Today was wonderful because they they had the opening ceremonies, and we had an extra long time to set up, and they were done early, so we started early. We played for you know much longer than than we were um, scheduled for. And again, in that situation, somebody calls something out, they want to hear something for their grandmother or you know. For, you know yeah, we'll do it. But I, I just don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear these old, like you're saying, Killing uh, Galway Girl. Steve Earle wrote that song, and he said in an interview, he said, I finally wrote an Irish song that I, that I can play in Ireland. And and then he said right after, he said, now all the fucking musicians want to kill me <laughs> because, <laughs> because, everybody, because it's just been played to death. But when you write a song like that, yeah. I don't like the song Come On Eileen by Dexie's Midnight Runners. I appreciate it, and I understand why they did it, and on and on and on. Uh, do I want to play it? No. Sorry, uh, sorry, Ellen. Music just too vast and too monstrous for us to uh, to dog other people's stuff. But we will. <laughs> we will. That's uh, that's Heidi. That's Turbo. That's Chad. We are Slappercast, and we thank you for tuning in. You're I will, yes. This is our weekly podcast. Did you know none of that? We're not here. This is Slappercast. This is the English. Marker. Fucking Walker. <laughs> yeah, we do, you know, delighted to have you along. We, I think there is two or three seats left on the second bus for our Ireland tour. Well, we have a couple of people in Montana, oh, sorry, Montana, that uh, are l- looking into it. So um, if, you're, if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence, go now. Time, you will not get back. Money, you will. So sign up. Let's go. We're going to Ireland. We're going to have a blast. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Tell your friends. And uh, really appreciate our Patreon friends and family. And yeah, looking forward to it all. And we, we, we're going to have some, on the, uh, hopefully on the next, we're going to have some news on our Ireland. We're gonna, the Ireland dates will be nailed down. But we'll also have some news on the venues and yeah, yeah maybe a little something else. So yeah, you talk about the actual show, yeah, the tour itself. Yeah. So tune in. All right. Turn up. Tune in. Cheer and all. Let's go. See you on the road, y'all. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Do you guys want some peace and quiet? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck this yapping shit. <laughs>